Hey guys, 9 mil Sarge coming at you again. I uh, just wanted to kind of do a uh, quick video for you. Uh, this is kind of uh, something I've been wanting to do as far as kind of a uh, concealed carry uh, journey uh, item that I've kind of uh, come, come across here with carrying over the last few years. Um, and it's got to do with, with uh, belts. And concealed carry. Um, recently I went out and decided to invest a little bit of money in a actual concealed carry belt as opposed to a uh, what's supposed to be concealed carry belt. I came across uh, this company online a few months ago they were doing a sale on their uh, their belts and I was able to pick up a couple of these and uh, the company is called RDR, Rounds Down Range. Uh, they make an EDC belt, comes with a Cobra buckle, and uh, I, I gotta say, I really, really like these belts. The uh, reason I'm holding a couple others in my hands here is this kind of what I had been using uh, to conceal carry. This is a belt made by Oakley and uh, as you can see uh, not a very good belt for EDC it's not it just will not do the job uh, so that one eh. this is a belt I carried I used to carry for quite a while this is a 511 I want to say this is the instructor belt not sure but uh, this is a belt I carried for for quite a while and uh, just not good enough it's, it's not thick enough to carry a heavy gun with um, so I finally got smart and decided to invest a little bit of money and get myself some something good so the uh, 511 we'll go ahead and toss her but this is the RDR um, and this like I said this is not necessarily a review of the RDR belt as much as a kind of lesson learned for me uh, with concealed carry I carry uh, every day and I wear uh, one of these belts. I bought two of them, uh, but I carry and wear this thing every single day, and I will never ever make the mistake of buying a crappy EDC belt again. As you can see, this thing is stiff. It's not changing its form. I've had it for probably three or four months, been wearing it. Um, it's held up great, and I love the belt. Um, I, I got two of them. I'm wearing one now, and uh, carrying a Glock 19 and the thing about a good EDC belt uh, if you've noticed if you've carried with kind of a crappy belt you're all the time walking around having to pull your pants up having to adjust yourself and that brings attention to yourself you don't want other people to know that you're carrying so that's why I say if you can always invest in good gear starting with your belt make sure you get a good quality belt to carry because your, your gun is heavy and if you don't have a good belt you're constantly going to be pulling your pants because that belt's just not strong enough to hold it up you're going to be pulling 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 so do me a favor go out get yourself a good belt if i'm not mistaken uh right now rdr is doing a sale for 25 percent off uh, you don't need to buy an rdr belt necessarily but just get yourself a good one uh, do some research go on uh, youtube Google, research it, and get yourself a really good quality, thick carry belt. Um, I do like the RDR belts. Uh, pretty good price. I think I paid somewhere around $50 to $55 for it, which if I would have just bought one of those in the first place rather than one of these crappy belts, um, I could have saved, possibly saved myself some money. So if you get a chance, check them out. RDR belts, and always make sure you've got good equipment while you're out there carrying. Guys, I appreciate you listening to me. Uh, if you would, like and hit the like button. Uh, subscribe and uh, leave me some comments. Let me know what you think about this subject. Appreciate you listening to me. Have a good one.